So this is how we make a shimmery fish. The first thing we do is that we cut out a fish ship. I've just used an old cardboard box that we had a delivery in. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use glue to um, stick string to the fish in patterns. You could do patterns like scales or just random abstract patterns, anything you like. So here is my fish. As you can see, I covered it quite liberally with prick stick. Um, and then I cut out bits of string and st stuck them on in different patterns. And the next thing we're going to do is cover our fish in a nice big piece of foil. So now I've covered my fish with foil. Um, because I put glue on the fish already, it was really easy to get it to stick down. I did uh, glue it on the other side to make sure um, that it was secure. Um, and the other thing I did was really press in around the string to make sure that um, the foil was sticking down in those places and also to make sure that the string was really sticking up and giving this lovely raised effect. There we are. And now I'm going to get some Sharpies and colour in sections of my fish. Now, if you don't have Sharpies, you could use ordinary felt, it depends, but you will have to leave it to dry. You could also try paint. Uh, particularly acrylic paint would work. But I think poster paint would also work if um, you let it dry, but you wouldn't have the translucent effect that you would get with um, with with Sharpies or felted pens. Anyway, I'm going to uh, crack on and I'll come back in a minute and show you the finished fishy. And here's my finished shimmery fish you can see um that the where i glued the string um has uh stayed silver i've colored round uh those bits um to give it this really kind of raised 3d effect um you have to be really careful when you're coloring i would say that it's easy to tear the um the foil if you've stuck it down really well in the first place it does help but even so you do have to be very gentle and careful i hope you like my fish i'm going to put it on my mantelpiece to remind me of that story that we read about jesus um sharing food with his disciples on the beach